Barbara, and I'm here with another riveting episode of Keeping It PC in the Kitchen. And I got my letters and numbers cake pan about a week ago, really. And I kept thinking, what can I make with the letters and numbers cake pan? And I was, I just couldn't decide what, to, what letter or number to make. And I asked my friend Mary Beth, and she said... I should make a UK cake. And I said, I would, but I'm not really affiliated with anyone in the United Kingdom. <laughs> and then she told me that UK, of course, does not stand for United Kingdom, especially where we're from. It stands for University of Kentucky. So I thought, okay, I could make a UK cake. But then my husband, who is brilliant, said I should make a cake that said PC for Pampered Chef. That's why I keep him around. He's a genius. So I hurried on home from work and I made the cake with a P and a C. Sorry to all you UK fans, whether it's United Kingdom or University of Kentucky, PC one out. So this is what I'm going to show you first. Sorry for the noise. This is the numbers and letters cake pan. And it's got all these little attachments, all these little spacer things in it, like this. And then this one you can also use to cut little, little squares or little corners off. And as you can see on the inside, it's got all those little squares on it. So when you put your spacers in there, they'll stay right in place. And then, if that's not good enough, it comes with this nifty little puzzle thing to show you exactly where to put the spacers to make the letters and numbers. So, the only problem I had was that this is for like one cake of one letter and I wanted to make two letters and I didn't want to make two cakes because while I was excited to use it, I'm not a real big baker, so I wanted to get it done in one shot. So I had to kind of get in there and play around with it a little bit, but I managed to get a P and a C in the cake pan. And I was a little worried that you would not have enough cake mix to do it, but it was plenty. One box, and I got two letters, but it was two letters in one pan, okay? All right, now, here's the thing. My daughter and I are celiac, so I buy, and I'm sorry, I'm not doing it from scratch. I'm not that big of a baker. So I buy cake mix, and this is the gluten-free cake mix, and this is the one I recommend. I've tried them all. I've tried the more expensive ones. I've tried the ones, I've tried every one. This is the best one. And one of the best things about it, and this letters and numbers cake pan, is that this batter is really thick. I don't know if you've ever made pound cake, but pound cake has a real heavy batter. This is like that. It doesn't just come pouring out like pancake syrup, pancake batter. It comes, it's thick. You have to kind of spoon it out. So I spooned it all into the pan. Oh, and I lightly oiled the pan. I didn't, I just took a brush. In fact, I took a paint brush because I have some new paint brushes that I use to baste with. So I used a paint brush and brushed my pan and I also brushed the sides of these and then I spooned my batter in and then I put it in the oven and then I timed it. And I was afraid that it wouldn't take as much time to bake because it wasn't as dense. So I checked it in 20 minutes. In 20 minutes it was still kind of running on the inside. So I checked it in 25 minutes and it was almost perfect. So I left it for two more minutes and then I took it out. And I let it cool and I thought, <laughs> getting that cake out of that pan is going to be a feat. But you know what? I just put the pan that I was going to put them on, on top of the cake pan, and then I just flipped it. And I know everybody talks about putting on a cooling rack and all that. Um, I'm not a baker. I want to do it the easiest way. So I put my pan on top of the cake pan and then I just flipped it over and it just it just came out it just popped right out so I was so excited the only thing I did wrong was you have to put the letters backwards and I did that but 
I should I had like the P and the C and I should have had the C and the P because when I turned it upside down it then said CP instead of PC so I had to move those around then I iced it and again I am not much of an icer and I didn't use the easy accent cake decorator because even though it says it's easy I'm just not very good at that and I didn't want to make it a horrible ugly mess because it was turning out so well so I just spread some icing on it and I will say because there's more edging around the outside and the inside of the pea and all that it took a little bit more icing than a normal cake would but here's the moment of truth I'm so excited when it turns out good here it is I hope I don't I don't want it to spill off the pan all right, I'm going to bring the phone closer to it so you can see. Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. Pampered Chef. That might be backwards because it's a camera. But anyway, it turned out really good. And I'm really excited because I'm not, I'm not a baker. And it turned out really, really good. So even somebody that's not comfortable in the kitchen with baking, like I can cook like a chef, but I'm just not much of a baker. But that was really easy. So there you go. The letters and numbers cake pan is one of our new items in the winter fall catalog. Check it out. And if there's anything else you would like me to demonstrate, comment below. And if I have it, I will show it. Thanks. Bye.